Right, a couple of power files to analyse from last week. I've been a bit lazy recently, but anyway, we're going to go through Bernal as well as Wellsford and uh, Nilsson Paulus. We'll go through Bernal's first. Uh, San Juan goes up to 2,600 metres. Miguel Angel Lopez was unbelievable. Um, but Bernal actually lapped this, so kind of interesting. Um, but what we'll see is the sort of preamble to the stage, which is extremely easy. 230 normals, three and a half hours, so zero stress. Um, you know, it's kind of just like... In the wheels, it's like, okay, maybe not zero stress this first climb, like 230 watts. And like, obviously, okay, that's not not zero watts, but it, it's some watts. I don't think his weight's right. I think it's like 58 is always my uh, assumption with Bernal. Maybe he's heavier because of like off season, but anyway. Um, but yeah, so you can see like this part here was actually not that hard in a bunch, like 245 normalized. But like this part here, I thought kind of be a bit harder, but it's actually not too bad, like 250. But anyway, we'll get to the last half an hour. So the last half an hour is 315 watts, which is like five and a half would be my prediction. Obviously, it's at altitude, so it starts at 1,700 meters. So that's pretty high up, obviously, and it goes to 2,600 meters. Um, so for Bernal, not an issue, but obviously for a normal non-high altitude native, it would be tough. But anyway, you can see it's pretty good numbers. He was pulling a lot for um, Ghana. You can see this part is in the wheels when Medellin were already setting the pace, 300 watts in the wheels, so nothing too crazy, but 34K an hour and 4% is decent gas, like, you know. Um, anyway, there's some attacks here, but generally he was just setting pace on the front and just doing like 5.6, probably more like 5.8 watts per kilo, so pretty impressive, to be honest. Um, and yeah, like, goes to show that he is in good condition um and yeah so pretty impressive from Bernal I think in my opinion it shows that he's back to a, a good level and that he will be competitive this year for sure I don't think he'll win a grand tour necessarily but he'll be there or thereabouts like he beat a lot of good people next we'll go to Nielsen Paulus this was an, a very impressive ride uh GP Marseille is the first proper race of the year in Europe so it's uh it's always a good one to see. You can see it's like an up and down hilly race all day. Surprisingly hilly, really. Um, only sort of 10 minute climbs uh, in general. Well, this is like 15, but it's kind of barely a climb. It's like 4%. But, you know, the, the strong ones, again, like 15 minutes here. So all kind of just preamble fours per kilo, 4.4.5. So nothing crazy for these boys. This is the first one where it gets a little bit more tasty, five watts per kilo. But this is where it, where it was really hard, actually. This steep section here, you can see 6.4 watts per kilo for 19 minutes, like 425 watts. But you'll see here, like this bit here is pretty nuclear, 6.6 .6 for five minutes. And there's parts where he was really going quite hard, like on the steepest part of that climb, he was doing 520 watts. That's where one of the like main selections was made. Next climb was kind of easier. Um, and again, this false flat drag was like hard, but not crazy. But anyway, the way he actually won the race, I assume you've seen it, was that he actually put, kind of put in a bit of dig on the downhill. But if we actually look at the climb itself, it's it's actually not that mental, like 6.2 for 14 minutes, obviously very strong, but not like, you know, thermonuclear, like, wow. But obviously very impressive nonetheless. Um, he obviously went harder at the beginning, kind of like six and a half for five minutes, which is obviously impressive. And then, yeah, 6.2 for 14 minutes. I really like Nielsen Paulus. He does really good numbers in training, and I think he'll go very well. Um, He's like got the calm up Rocco Corber, I believe, or maybe Jay Vine took it off him. But, you know, he's at that kind of level for 20 minutes. I think longer climbs not always as good, but this this course definitely suits him. Obviously winning San Sebastian last year as well. Um, but yeah, 5.8 for the last seven minutes, 55k an hour. <clears throat> Decent. Um, and then we're going to go to Sam Wellsford because this is actually very interesting. So you can see here it's like a hilly-ish stage uh, in San Juan. Um, it kind of like actually harder than you thought, like 300 normalized. This this berg here was actually quite tough. Um, for four minutes, he's doing like 5.8 watts per kilo, but 460 watts is like decent, decent watts. Um, then actually pretty noodly, 212 normalized, heart rate 109. So, you know, very, very relaxed. But this last bit, um, you can see 311 average, which is obviously pretty decent. You can see it like one corner and then it's literally a straight run. And so if we go from the straight run in, 59 kilometers an hour so you're getting a good sit at that kind of speed um but yeah the last minute 786 watts but actually it's more like 830 for the last last sort of minute or so which is crazy um and hits a peak of 1700 watts i it could it, like the thing is it kind of looks like oh it could be an error but actually held 1620 1348 and then went again obviously probably at shift gear or something then 
But you can see really, really strong from Sam Wells with like really big numbers. Uh, kind of not surprising. Like he's a track guy. Like they're always really good at these kind of efforts. So yeah, pretty impressive. But yeah, those are some of the big numbers from the week. Um, Kobe Gerson's also had a good ride actually. Right, so Kobe Gerson's had a really, really impressive ride. And what we can see is actually it was a like, pretty hard all day. Um, six watts per kilo for half an hour, so pretty solid as well, but obviously has some downhills. If you really look at it, it's kind of more like, obviously that's the bit I said, access 5.9, but it's actually like more, um, especially the bottom part was like 6.3 for 11 minutes, so pretty impressive. Um, and then on the descent, you just binned uh, Utebrooks. And this is the thing that's really crazy is the downhill. He cracked on big time, 5.7 on them for 15 minutes, but 52 kilometers an hour. Okay, obviously it's minus 1%, but that's pretty solid. He actually exploded on the climb. He did like 5.2, like he, he went big, like that van sub 1300, like obviously it's not a steep climb, but that's not, that's not mental at all. So that really goes to show that he did blow up big time. He went all in on the flat. Uh, I think maybe the change of gradient, maybe he didn't eat enough, no one knows, but this is something that no one reports about. Maybe I should have wiped on Twitter actually, and maybe I would have got some more, more followers, but he exploded big time on the climb, but had enough to hold it. But anyway, there's some good efforts for the week. Um, just watching, hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one.